All right, so let's get into Pisces partner. What Pisces partner want to tell Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Again, we got that solar eclipse coming in for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Pisces. Let's see, what we have. I will do the Earth signs later today. Let's see, Pisces partner. The Death card transformation. Scorpio energy. So something, this could be rebirth. Let's see. Pisces partner. And then we have a major arcana is the lovers. So someone wants to have a fresh start, rekindle a connection. Okay. A lot of cards came out. Pisces partner, we're going to put it back. We're just going to show you got the Ten of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Page of Cups. An apology here. So someone may have, or... Perhaps want to apologize for stabbing you in the back, for betraying you. Here's the offer of love, an apology. And you have the King of Swords, Aquarius, the Gemini. I have been very heavy in the readings, and I think it's because of the solar eclipse and Libra. So, let's see. Check out your chart to find out what is your house for these solar eclipse. Everyone is going to be feeling that solar eclipse. Let's see what the partner wants to tell Pisces. Okay, the Six of Cups, Nostalgia. Alright, so someone is thinking about you. Pisces partner, want to tell us. Eight of Wands, yeah. Here's the messages ringing in, coming in, honey. It's cuffing season. Someone needs to stay warm this winter. Pisces partner. Eight of Pentacles, Pisces. And Pisces reading, we got the Eight of Pentacles. Pentacles in the same uh, location here so check out the other Pisces that I will upload next to each other let's see Pisces partner you got three cards and I lo it looks like the Sun is that the Sun judgment karma and the hangman feeling stuck here or unstuck in yourself or you have karma and Libra again Eclipse can can focus on that you have some karma coming in here hopefully it's good it is not bright you got the Queen of Pentacles. Focus on career, work, and stability. I love it. Absolutely beautiful, Pisces. For the partner, I want to tell you. So this person could be traveling, or you're traveling towards them with that Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Beautiful, Pisces. Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords. Yeah. This is so far so good. Death lovers. Why is the death here for the partner? I want to tell the Pisces. Let me give this a hard shuffle. And then here's the Will of Karma in the upright. So why, oop, why is the death card here for Pisces partner want to tell us? The hangman twice, <laughs> Pisces energy. Someone is feeling stuck or confined or maybe someone feel like, Transformation, feeling stuck, rebirth, wanting to restart something, but maybe someone's afraid to, re to to contact you. But I do see the Eight of Wands, so they're not afraid. Let's see, why is the lovers here? Five of Pentacles. Some words have been said, or maybe someone really has said some bad words regarding a love connection here. This person is not happy about it. It's really breaking their heart. I broke their heart. Why is the Six of Cups here? The hermit. Yeah, this person could be battling a, in some type of inner battle or self-esteem issue here. All right. That's Virgo energy. Or this person could be missing you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo. Why is the Eight of Wands for Pisces partner? Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That love offer coming in here. Pisces, can you please be the one? Oof. Can you spend the rest of your life with me? I did see the Hierophant in Pisces reading. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here about work? The strength. This is Leo energy. Very playful young energy. Um, someone could be feeling like weak willed when it comes to like work. Maybe tired, overworking. All right, maybe overwork. Yeah, feeling. And then that could be your partner too. Like overworking, they feel drained. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman for the partner when it's held, Pisces? 
the Ten of Cups reversed. This person could be battling something from their childhood, childhood trauma, an uh, inner battle. Okay, someone could be having some very low self esteem. Why is judgment here, karma? Maybe someone feels like you judged them the wrong way. Here's justice as well. Yeah, again, so it could have been some bad words lashed out that was said because someone was emotional or going through some type of emotion here. And um, now someone wants to re rebuild it, fix it. All right, this is the part I want to tell you. So they are open to communicating, all right? <clears throat> Even if it leads to just friendship, but it might lead more than friendship for some of us. Who's the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces? Pisces received this at the end as well. It's the Five of Swords and Ace of Wands, Passion. There's a lot of passion here I see in this reading. And you have the Lovers, so this could be just a karmic or... Your partner could have been just a passionate karmic or lesson, if that makes sense. They came into you in your life as a lesson. So let's see what the final advice is. The advice is also the partner is really missing the intimacy that you guys had. Okay. And they want to rebuild things with you. They can't bear to see you with someone else. The thought of you with someone else, you know, having that fire intimate intimate moment with someone else they're not willing to lose so let's see what's the advice here Ooh, what's this <gasps> the tower moment uh, ending scorpio energy so the partner is having a tower moment they're like i mean and it's a lot of energy i see scorpio libra leo pisces cancer scorpio Gemini with the lovers there. Pisces. So yeah. What else do we have for the partner I want to tell Pisces? Oh, Pisces. And you have the Ace of Cups at the bottom. This person wants to apologize. Or they see you as very important and valuable to them with the star. Okay? They see that you were successful. You're very loving. And they just can't bear to lose this love connection with you. If it's not a love connection, it's definitely your partner is trying to financially get themselves together. Alright. Now this could also speak of a child, the star, and the tower. This is Aquarius. This is Scorpio. But um, I feel like this is a relationship and this person is feeling that, that agony of not having you. But we're going to clarify some more. Let's see. <clears throat> what does the Pisces partner want to tell us that we do not know? <laughs> the Two of Wands. They're waiting for you, Pisces. This is the Two of Wands waiting. They will travel mountains, go through mountains for you. They're holding the world in their hand right there. That eclipse. Yeah, it has an eight of swords reverse. This person is really feeling it. Again, this could be some words that were said, some embarrassing moments that occurred. Shame. Let's get one more for the partner when it's all Pisces. Seven of swords. Yeah, they probably, this is the seven of swords is being sneaky. They know you didn't trust them or they fucked up. Okay, and maybe this is eating them up. Seven and eight of swords. The partner want to tell you. They want to do better. I'm not sure if Pisces is willing to accept it. Let's see, what's the advice for Pisces with this relationship? Knight of Wands, leave it alone. Got two cards. This is your advice. Six, look for equal balance and fair share in this connection. You're not interested in a player, Knight of Wands, or else you're not interested in playing. You don't want a deceptive person and let them know that. All right. Let's see what else the partner want to tell. This is it. The partner is really going through it. 
the three of swords, the king of pentacles, and the two of wands. Again, two of wands waiting. And the three of swords, that heartache and pain, this person is going through it. And the king of pentacles. They want to change that king of pentacles and make things right between you and them. So Pisces, what are you going to do? Are you going to accept it or what? This person is waiting. Maybe they sent you a message, you haven't responded yet, but this person is waiting. They're not giving up at this moment because you are the chosen one. All right, so this is what the partner want to tell you for now for the eclipse coming for my Pisces. And I will see you in the next reading. And you have the Knight of Cups and the Five of Wands. This person is tired of fighting. They're coming towards you to offer their cup of love. You also have the Queen of Swords. All right, Pisces, you have a lot of people here, so you have a lot of choices. And a lot of them are really thinking about you, I guess, throughout the summer. They're like, I had this one girl or, or guy I met, and that was the one. And they're coming to make things right. All right? So the partner has this three of swords. And maybe they're acknowledging, okay, I hurt Pisces or Pisces hurt me, but I want to make things right. So I'm just, I'm just over-talking right now, so... <laughs> My advice to you, Pisces, is just give each other closure. If this person hurts you to the point where you can't go back, at least just have closure. All right? But don't settle. Don't let someone walk all over you. Okay? Just because you feel sorry for them. And that's your advice. God bless and I'm going to